Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor and this is another episode of the Taylor Talks Crochet Podcast. It feels like it has been so long since I filmed. Um, my roommate has had a bit of vacation so she's been home a ton and as I think I've said before on this channel I don't like filming when my roommates are home because the thought of them hearing me is mortifying <laughs> but because of that I have so many finished objects so many finished objects that I'm so excited to share with you today for once I think I have more finished objects than whips and like forever. Lots of gifts. Two of my best friends have birthdays in May and so I've been working like crazy to get those finished and yeah let's just hop right in. So the first thing that I'll show you this is a mandala cape uh, from Astronauti. It's like inspired by her newest pattern. It's um I used the mandala pattern from the poncho and then just did granny stitches on the way out and I sewed them together and I actually if you saw my most recent shorts if not go check them out but um, I'm wearing this I wore it out to the bars <laughs> and I got so many compliments on it I just wore it with like a black turtleneck and some yoga pants and I love it. It's so soft. This is using both the purple and the white are Red Heart Super Saver brushed. And I really, really, really like this yarn. I do just worry about how it's going to wash up. Next is also a mandala project. This is the mandala poncho. This is how the pattern is supposed to look. This is for one of my friends' birthdays. I and just like so pale for this neon pink but she's got more of a darker complexion and I just know it's going to look beautiful on her but yeah so for this one you just make the four and stitch them together and I just like want to make more of these I want to make one for myself but I need to find like a good ombre that I like and that's kind of the hard part <clears throat> sticking with the gifts uh, here is just a white cotton crop top, which is for the same friend as this pink mandala poncho over here. It's just with 100% cotton, I believe. I This one is a cone from Craft Smart, uh, which, it, or no, not Craft Smart, Crafter's Secret from Hobby Lobby, which I don't think they sell anymore, but I mean, it, I mean, 100% cotton in this way is the same as lily sugar and cream, peaches and cream, loops and threads, cotton, you know, it's all it's all the same. But so this pattern is a video tutorial from Passionate Kelsey on YouTube and the only modifier that I did was on the back here. I did double crochet mesh so that I could make a corset back because I've noticed that when I've made crop tops without this little modifier can sometimes be hard to get like the strings through but yeah she wanted me to make me make her another one of these because I made her a blue one when we went to Taylor Swift the heiress tour last year and she's like I just like don't want that one to get ruined it holds such like a special place in my heart can you like make can you make me a white one that I can wear for the summer and I was like I got you babe and then the next one, this is for my other May birthday friend and um, like the three birthday gifts for her. So this is a Kindle poof. You're a reader. Hopefully you understand what this is um, or Kindle girly. So it, it literally is just a poof that your Kindle sits in and then a pocket on the side here that you can put in your page turner. And so this is so that you can just sit with your page turner on your Kindle and like completely cuddle up and just like go through your pages like you don't have to like hold it. This is using Burnap Blanket Yarn 
I cannot remember the colorway if I'm being super honest, but the way in which this worked up, I kind of want to call it a little moss rock. Like it's very much like, I remember showing it to my friend who's like not a Kindle girly and she was like, Taylor, what, what is this? I was like, it's a Kindle poof. So I'm really excited to give that to her. And then speaking of Kindle girlies, I have three Kindle sleeves. So this is the gift one. Can you tell my friend likes green? She's a Taurus. I don't know what you expect. <laughs> so little Kindle, little Kindle cover. And this is a pattern by ITK Cuties on Instagram. And this is just like such an easy, these little puff stitches, inverted puffs, I don't know what to call them are so addictive and you're gonna see two other projects that have these puff stitches on here. But so I made this one for my friend for her birthday and then I made this one for myself for my Kindle. And then I was originally going to give her this one but the way that it worked up it just wasn't screaming like my friend. Like I like it, it's beautiful obviously but I just, uh, something about it, it just wasn't screaming them. So now I just have to find someone else to give this one to. And so then the other pattern by ITK Cuties on Instagram is she calls this her meadow bag. And so it is just like a big puffy granny square but then once it gets big enough you add in these little decreases. I don't know it's just so fun. I'm really excited. This is using cotton uh, Karen Cotton Painterly Cakes. They are discontinued, like you can't find them anywhere anymore, even on the Your Inspirations website. It's like, hey, these are discontinued, like this information is just still available in case you have some of it. Here's the other one that I made. I kind of messed up on this one, which is why it's just kind of like a project bag. And it's so crazy how you can use like the same millimeter hook and still get like <clears throat> different looking stitches. So like with this pink one, this one's Karen Cotton Cakes and Frozen Yogurt, and then this one. So like look at the size difference. I mean obviously I know this one's like kind of full, but even if you look at the puff stitches, like this one is much tighter because I used my Clover Amour 6.0 crochet hook. And then with this one I used my Ofire 6.0 crochet hook. And I think when it comes to the Ofire hooks, at least with this pattern, because of the way that they taper. So because of the way that these hooks taper, because like I like hike my stitches up onto here. So if I didn't do that, I probably wouldn't have this problem, but I do that. And so with this one, since it's all the same, like they don't like widen or anything, that's not like something that like bothers me, but like especially when you want something that's like nice and tight like this. Um, Clearly, if I wanted to use these hooks, I'd want to size down to like a 5.5 five with that one. Yeah, those are like the two bags and I love them. I'm just, I also like ran out of the frozen yogurt yarn and um, had to substitute with some periwinkle yarn that you're going to see in another project over here. So this project could be argued as like not a finished project because it, the ends aren't woven in. But when I tell you that there are just so many ends, that I don't want to weave them in. I, I'm just, I just don't want to do it. Um, so this is the Katana crop top or tank top by Jennifer Asses on Ravelry. This was in the like projects to make this spring video. I made two of these actually. I made this one for myself and then I made one in the frozen yogurt colorway for my friend. They both turned out so good. I'm so excited to like just wear this out and about this summer like with like my cute little black bralette and maybe some like biker shorts and just like run around but there's a lot of ends to weave in. I did have to modify this a little bit because I made the squares too big. So if you see on the back here <clears throat> I stitched it all the way up until the two squares were meeting Technically, it was supposed to be like the front, so it was supposed to be like identical. You can't tell the difference between the front and the back. But when I put it on, it like the point went down to here, and so I stitched up the back to try and pull that upward, and now it sits 
what's the word, at an appropriate place on my chest so that, you know, the girls aren't out and about everywhere. And I did have to do that with my friends too, but they both turned out so, so, so good. This is with Cotton Blossom Cakes in the colorway, I believe it's called Caribbean Waters. It's a cotton acrylic blend, just so, so, so soft and beautiful and I love it. Next thing is a sweater that's going to be for a friend. So this is a, also a birthday present, but I don't have to give this one to her for a little while longer. I need, she's quite a bit taller than me, and so I'm kind of waiting on my roommate when she gets home so that I can, because she's taller than me, so I can kind of use her as a template be like, okay, here's where like your wrist is. Let me add like another inch or something. But this is using a cotton painterly cake as well. It's just in this periwinkle color. But then it also has like this little green blotch in it. I don't know. But yeah, it's just a cotton acrylic blend. It'll be like a summer sweater type of thing. It has a really nice like drape to it. So I'm really excited to like get this done because I have, what's the word? Another thing for her, for her birthday. My friends just get so spoiled on the holidays. So this next one is going to be a cropped cardigan and it is with the Loops and Threads Ombre Hues Polyester Blend. Um, I don't know when they stopped putting like color names on here, but it's like this pink, blue, purple, very like, very springy colors. And I'm using my Prim G hook with them. And so this is how much I have so far. This is just going to be the back panel. And my plan is for it to be kind of like a cropped cardigan. So I kind of want it to be end at like the bottom of my rib cage here. Kind of where the smallest part of my waist is. I'll do the two front panels and the sleeves obviously. But I want it to have like a little tie like right here be real cute so this is like super super soft the yarn itself is like a chain net construction and it has quite a bit of halo to it it's really interesting the only problem is that it gets caught on my hook really easily like the little chains do so I'm not exactly sure what to do about that but it obviously isn't keeping me from working on this so Next one, I am obsessed with this colorway, which like in the skein, I kind of hate how it looks, but worked up, it's beautiful. So this is, this is the six day, oh, I don't have a stitch marker in there. Oh my God, I'm living life on the wild side. So this is the six, six day star blanket by Betty McNitt on Instagram and just look how beautiful this is this yarn is the lion brand ice cream yarn in the colorway tutti frutti I'm using a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook for this and obviously it's taking me more than six days because I'm not working on it every single day I've mostly been working on it when me and my best friend have been watching Game of Thrones at dinner time. The way in which this is just going to be the perfect blanket for the summertime. It's just going to go perfect on my bed. It just reminds me of like a sweet treat. <laughs> but yeah, so, so excited about that one. It's just because this is a weight three yarn, it is going to take a little bit of time to finish just because like each row... Like, if it was a DK weight yarn, it wouldn't take as much time, obviously. I, I feel like I should, I don't have to explain that to you guys. You know. If you're here, you probably know. And then the last thing is actually a project that was frogged and now has, is like a new project that is actually going super, super well. You know, followed my channel for any sort of time. You've probably seen this colorway before. I was trying to do an alpine stitch blanket and if you've ever done the alpine stitch it's basically like two rows is like one because you front post double crochet down one end and then you half double crochet coming back and it was just taking me forever it was curling I was really like yeah I'm gonna finish it it's gonna be great and I just like could not do it and I wasn't having fun doing it and I'm trying to be so for real with myself. Like if I'm not. Whoa. Sorry. It's like storming right now. And like the most. Um, 
perfect lightning just like came down. Um, anyway, so I frogged that other one and I started this one and I'm already further along in it than I was in the other one. So this is using the Karen cinnamon roll cake in the colorway Heat Wave. And this wave stitch I've used for so many different blankets. And when I tell you, it's just so easy, so nice. I think I am going to do a tutorial on how to do this wave stitch. It's just so easy. Yeah. So, not too much to say on that one. This one's definitely closer to being done. I think I have, so I've got, I want to say half, but it's not, maybe like a third left of this cake. And then I've got two other full cakes. So... So be a really nice sized throw. So the next thing I'm going to share with you are some granny squares. And so let's do the ones that like I've made, like I've put the colors together myself. These are some flower granny squares that I am making for my best friend because she asked for a granny square poncho to wear to Lollapalooza. And I am so excited. I need to make more, obviously, but this is kind of what I have as a starting point. And I'm really happy with how they all turned out, especially this one, because it just reminds me of like a citrus orange. And I did kind of do this myself for what sword? Like, I know that I didn't create these stitches, but like I did the math myself and stuff. So if you are interested, I wouldn't mind, you know, sharing that on here doing a little tutorial because I know that for me turning a circle into a square can be kind of difficult so yeah I need to make more I've been trying to aim for two a day and then of course I have made zero this week and it's Thursday but whatever and then I also got the all-in-one granny square yarn because it's finally at Walmart and when I tell you that I am both obsessed and irritated with this yarn, that's the best way to describe it. So I started out, this was like the number one yarn that I wanted. It's the warm wheat like colorway. And I just think this will make the most perfect retro looking pillow. But I messed up because one of, so at the end here, I, it started becoming this like middle color again. And so now I have like four squares that are just like completely off kilter. It's my fault. That's completely my fault. Cause like I didn't, I was just going along doing my thing. And I think I'm going to have the same problem with this one. Cause like one thing I will say, I don't think the centers are the center colors. They're not long enough for like super long tails. But yeah, here's like this neon colored one. And then here's this one that reminds me of like summer berries. This is the colorway that I'm going to make my own granny square bag out of. And then this last one is the colorway that my best friend asked for a granny square bag with. And because I've already made the bag for her, I am planning on making like a little pencil pouch and like a sling bag type thing. But yeah, these are like so fun. I would I would buy this yarn again. Like I know that I just like said a few gripes, but I feel like that's way more user error. So like it's more like I'm irritated with myself, I guess. But yeah, that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for joining me. Tell me what you're working on in the comments down below. Don't forget to give this video a big like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Now that I think we're going to be more in a regular schedule, I really want to get back on my posting game. My posting schedule is Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so keep a lookout for that, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.